What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition. That's right, I call it edition of Michael's Ghetto Beer Wine Judgeship. I don't know what episode this is. You can figure that out by reading. If you can read, check it out. I know it's called the Beer Wine Judge Show. Someone mentioned tequila in a comment. I don't want mine, so hey, I'll do any liquor. I don't care. I'll do anything that has alcohol in it. I don't care. I know that sounds like some of these guys at the bar, they'll do anything with alcohol in it. But this is different. I mean, I'll drink anything with alcohol in it. Um, today we have Juarez Gold. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce the silent J in Spanish. Unless it's Juarez, which I doubt. Uh, this is a tequila, 80 proof. I'm not a big fan of tequila. I honestly don't like tequila. But we're going to rate it anyway. As in we, I mean me and my fungus, I guess. I'm going to rate this today on the five usuals I rate everything else on. My beers, blah, blah, blah. I pick up this one liter, one liter bottle of this for $9. I could tonight die of alcohol poisoning for $9 while you people spend hundreds to do it. Ridiculous. Who's smarter now? <clears throat> but anyways, back to the story. Um, today's episode is brought to you by the movie Robocop. A 1987 film. Um, great film. Uh, the story of Alex Murphy, the police officer who got shot and killed by Clarence Bodiger and his group of thugs. And uh, came back as a robot only to serve and protect the city of Detroit. Great movie. I would say, uh, since this movie was made in 1987, I would say their future, or their picture of the future, was probably right around now. I'd, I'd say it's, you know, probably year 2010, 2012, 2015, you know, somewhere right around now. Uh, obviously, they were wrong, because we don't have robots protecting our cities yet. And if we do, I miss that somewhere. Anyways, on to the judge show. I guess we gotta do this crap eventually. Um, can't find any any information on Juarez Gold on the in internet. Um, well, there's a Luxco.com sign on here, but I'm not gonna waste my time with that. It probably just says how good they are. You know, nine dollar liter of tequila. Yeah, you guys are wonderful. I'm just going to pop open this twist cap like most liqueurs might have. And we're going to have on color since I have a blue cup here. I'm going to, you know, be putting this in. I'm going to go ahead and judge it off this clear, clear bottle it's already in, which is nice. Very nice bottle. I'd say this bottle is probably worth $9 itself. I mean, that tequila in it's worth nothing, obviously. But oh, I dread tequila. I I just picture margarita when I when I when I smell it. Drinking it alone on the rocks, like I drink most of my liqueurs now. It's just I don't know how it's gonna work for this, but hey, let's find out. In color for tequila though. Tequila should be a little bit darker than that. I mean, yeah, it's called Juarez Gold, and technically. Technically, that's kind of gold, but it looks more like, you know, beer urine. I mean, it's really clear yellow. Nothing spectacular. Color is four on that. Uh, smell. This is something that's going to, you know, just make people sick when it comes to liquors. I mean, whiskeys, I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of hard liquors. I'll drink them sometimes on the rocks. But that's it. Sometimes. Uh, for a tequila, it smells not bad. It smells like it already has a bit of a, a bit of the sweetness in it that it should that it should have. I'm gonna say uh, six. And the reason I'm judging um, 
you know, Juarez, when someone asks for tequila, why am I dipping Juarez gold and not some nice brand? This is the ghetto beer wine dojo, okay? I don't spend any money for this. I'm going to show homeless people how to get drunk for the cheapest amount possible. I hope I get a lot of homeless fans on here. Really. I can show you guys how to get drunk cheap. Uh, next we have taste. This is where I actually got a pour of this stuff and I made the this part. Actually coming out of the bottle it's quite a bit clearer than I once thought. I mean it is almost completely clear. The bottle might have a yellow tint to it. I don't know. Still, still smells a six. It's still a six on smell. Um, you know, here we go, taste. I dread this, as I'm sure you will too when I bark on the camera. Um, uh, really funky. Um, Mixed with uh, whatever the hell you mix it with to get a, a margarita, which I know bartender, so please tell me. Mixed with something, this might be alright, but I would say without mixing it, it I got about a five on taste. Smoothness, uh, this is a beer wine judge show. Chugging this is not going to be an option. Smoothness. I could chug this faster than I could whiskey though. So we say whiskey be a one on smoothness. This let's get a two point five. And of course finally is crunkiness. Uh, subject to change, as I always say. I may say one thing here ends up being something else. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rate it high because I know this is going to do something to the human mind in some way, shape, or form. Perhaps I'm going to leave a 9. 80 proof. I mean, come on. They, unless they're lying, it's going to be a 9. And that should do it. Um, anyone under the age of 21 should not try this at home, of course. And next episode, I'm going to try uh, prescription pills. Just kidding. That's that's a joke. <laughs> um, thank you for viewing my uh, video. May you all have a very good night, and may I probably dump the rest of this out. But thanks for viewing.